You hear that? That means it's time for some blue light birdies. Today we're going to be playing some Azorius Flies in Ikoya Standard. Mainly because I really like Skycat Sovereign. Really wanted to build around it. I've been playing a uh, Azorius Flies deck on and off for a while now. Yeah, I think the uh, Skycat Sovereign is just the perfect addition. Because it's really good at going wide. But Skycat Sovereign lets you go tall and gives you that mana sink later into the game. We'll start with the one drops. I've got three one drops here. Healer's Hawk is probably the best one. A lot of people go half, like some white drops and some blue, but the mana's just too hard when you don't have check lands. Like I don't want to be playing any tap lands in an aggro deck because this really is an aggro deck. I'm trying to fly over, kill them quick. Um, so you're choosing between the white and the blue. And if you have a look at our, our options in blue, you've only got three as well. It's Fairy Miscreant. He's all right, draws a card, but it's not gonna happen often. Terramanda, just the one one flyer in this deck, you're never gonna adapt it really. And the Spectral Sailor is probably the best out of the blue one drops. So I chose to go white instead. Yeah, I think the Loyal Pegasus is probably the weakest out of those, but like because it's not going to be able to attack or block sometimes, there's going to be occasions where it's the only one. But it's still going to give you a, a one mana flying body for the Sky Cat to uh, convoke onto for Safara. So yeah, it, and it's a two mana, I mean a two power one drop with flying, like it's pretty good. Uh, then Rally of Wings is actually just so strong in this deck. I'm sure you'll see it put in some work, so many applications on attack and defense. Yeah, the Skycat, the new face of this deck. I like to play the Hanged Executioner. Yeah, when building the deck, I, I kind of had to choose between Hushbringer and the Hanged Executioner because obviously if you have the Hushbringer, the Hanged Executioner won't trigger as it enters. You're kind of right going either way, but I like getting the two bodies for one card. Like like I said, for the Sky Cat, like imagine you go turn one, any one drop, turn two Sky Cat, turn three Hanged Executioner. Yeah, that's that's pretty good to me. And obviously, yeah, two bodies for the uh, Conclave, for the Safara, and yeah, the Empyrean Eagle. Means you get three mana, four, two, two, two bodies of flying. That's pretty strong. So I've chosen to go with the Hanged Executioner. And obviously, is a bit of removal if you need it with the uh, second ability on him. Winged words for some card draw. Dovin, two of the Grand Arbiter himself. Can create one once of flying and then once we've got a board full that plus one get him straight up to seven or eight loyalty ultimate and you you hope to win the game from there if you get to pick three from your top ten you're likely gonna win Imperian Eagle one of the best cards in the deck and yeah Conclave for some removal I chose Conclave obviously because of the Convoke we've got lots of little boys Goes well with the Hanged Executioner and the 12 one drops. And then, yeah, Safara. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna do that for now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go three Safara. Sky Tether for aggro. Uh, really good in this deck. Making them a defender and lose flying. You can just swing over anything that way and don't have to worry about them hitting back. If, say, an Annex. Perfect. Both for aggro and Aethergust obviously comes in against the Euro decks and whatnot. Cerulean Drake for Mono Red. Keep safe, this is a new card I want to try out. If we're versing an opponent with a lot of uh, targeted removal, Keep Safe is going to be almost Veil of Summer. And Veil of Summer is so good it got banned, so almost Veil of Summer is pretty good. Dovin's Veto, mainly to counter board wipes. Mystical Dispute also comes in against Control as a one-mana counter. 
it's a fairy. I just feel like a lot of people are going to be playing in the flash deck, so bringing in a couple of Teferis against that. And yeah, that's basically the deck. So, let's jump into some games and see how we go. Alright, we're jumping into some uh, traditional standard ranked against our opponent, Ginkgo, who's got the Garuda Companion. That's exciting. Uh, yeah. Alright, Mr. Garuda has mulligans. That's good to see. Still got a seven card hand, technically. That's some cool art. Gigan, Cyberclaw Terror. Temple of Mystery for our opponent. Put it to the top. Uh, get in for one. Her humble naturalist. See if he doesn't have any board wipes, which I assume he doesn't because he's playing this weird mana door. We can drop a Sapphire next turn and he'll probably scoop it up. Oh, it's Mr. Skycat. Yeah, I'm gonna get the Skycat down. He's gonna swing in big next turn. Give them all indestructible. I love Sapphire. Look at that. One mana, seven, seven. Give them all indestructible. What a hit. <laughs> Another Gargan. And he whiffs. Yeah, I don't rate this card at all, but at least our opponent's having some fun. I don't think we can lose from here, but let's see. Oh, we definitely can't lose from here now. Look at this attack. Boom, boom. So yeah, when this deck works, it absolutely works. The only thing I'm tempted to bring in is the Mystical Dispute, because we can counter the Guy Reader, because we'll know when it's coming. Ah. Sure, let's do that. This might be a risky keep. Let's hope we draw a one drop. Or at least the Sky Cap. The Sky Cap would be a good draw. Don't need another land. <laughs> there we go. That's a good draw. And if we draw well, Hanged Executioner would be a nice draw. Mm, this is an odd, odd deck. I like that he's playing a, a spicy brew, but uh, I'm struggling to see what he's going for. <laughs> Let's just get the Empyrean Eagle down, get in for two. Dovin's a bit safer next turn. Fable Passage. Oh no! Alright, that's pretty good. I was talking smack, but I like that. If we do this, we should be able to get the... We'll be able to get the Sapphire down next turn, hopefully. If you can't kill us here, we can Rally of Wings and win next turn. The Rally of Wings is strong. Oh, Spark doubles the Garuda. I like that. Mothra. Damn it. Gives him a flying blocker. We still win there. Oh, no, he's got something else. Alright, what's he gonna hit? I really like our opponent's deck. What do you hit? Spark double. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hold 
Holy moly. Opponent is popping off. Ginkgo, my man. I really like this deck. Are you gonna Thassa? I mean, yeah, Thassa's Oracle me. It's another spark double. I think he's uh, pulled off whatever he's trying to do. I think we're about to get Thassa's Oracle. One turn away from winning too. Maybe he'll whiff. Hmm. Or maybe he is aiming to kill himself. <laughs> well, I am not too sure what to say about that, but we'll take it. That's one win for the blue white birdies. S -s Slathis. Slathis. Sarkin. I respect a Sarkin. Oh, that is not. That is not what we want. That's what we want. That's a great hand. I think we just ship the Conclave. We could ship an island and hope for more land, but I'm not going to risk it. Shocks in a Nard of the Urban Legion. We'll drop a Sky Cut. Savai Triumph. Mardu Knights, I guess. I'm not sure why you'd be playing Savai Triumph in a Knights deck, though. I don't really agree with that. I play Mardu Knights a lot, and you definitely, because of the uh, tournament grounds, you really don't need the Savai Chime, so maybe he's got a Snap Dex on the top end, who knows. Hanged Executioner, look at that, pump the Skycat, Mountain for our opponent. And an Oath Sworn Knight. You don't see that every day. It's Empyrean Eagle time. Okay, so it's a mixture of humans and knights, I guess. Attacking with everything. Okay. There's no mana for an Ember Cleave, so I'm not sure why... You're sending them all in. I think you might regret that. I'm confused. Am I missing something? No. That was uh, just suicidal. But I'll take it. So we can swing in for 11 here. Let's do it. Yeah, that was a very strange attack on the previous turn. Devout Decree definitely comes in. The Sky Tethers are going to do some work. So we'll take out Tribunals and we'll take out a Dovin and a Winged Words. Ah, uh, no. Much better. Much, much, much better. Let's see if we can get him with a Rally of Wings here at some point. It's very cool art. Very cool little entrance. Hello Sky Tether. That's a good draw. Knight of the Airborne Legion is no more for one mana. Gotta really hope he doesn't deal with the healer's hope. Okay, that's good. Hollowed Fountain tapped. I'm gonna get in, and I think when he attacks, I might uh, 
make him a bit angry with this rally of wings. No, he mentored. Ah, uh, I think we misplayed there. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Yeah, probably sh should have kept the healer's hook. Ah, uh, this looks like it's his game. It's a very good little combo. Yeah, it was that one up. I'm not sure why I made that rally of wings play. We'll run it back. Yeah, that's a fine hand. Assuming we'll draw some more flyers. There's plenty in the deck. <laughs> a Skycat Sovereign would be fantastic here. Guy Teller the Fervent Champion. Robber of the Rich. It's got Reach. That's uh That's pretty good. Alright. This time we're actually gonna <laughs> get him with the rally of wings. <laughs> to Jig. Ah, oh, that to Jake is really messing up the rally of wings. No blocks here. Alright, a safari next turn would be nice. Let's gain some life back. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, we need him to attack with the rubber of Richie. I think that means we win. We can just take the 8 and swing in for lethal. Yeah. See, uh, Rally of Wings is busted, that's what I'm saying. You just steal wins. <laughs> good game. Oh, I didn't get the good game in. But yeah, that's uh, that's blue white flights. If you enjoyed, uh, please like and subscribe. <laughs> what did we get? That's not a bad little card reward. We'll take that. <laughs>